Hey guys, it's Sirel RMD, and today I've got a question for you. Here's a PA view of the chest. Is there anything abnormal going on here? Is this a normal chest x-ray? Insert power scribe normal and move on? Or is there something more going on to this story? I'll give you a few seconds to take a look. Now obviously you know the title to this video, so you kind of know where this is going. I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how I look at every single chest x-ray in clinical practice. I always zoom in and look in the lung apices one at a time. And this is a very subtle finding, but if you look at this patient, you can see here these lung markings. These are the vascular markings of the lung, and they normally taper out as you come out to the periphery as those vessels become smaller. If you look, you notice there's an abrupt cutoff in the vascularity of this lung, and you can see this area of lucency here in the right lung apex. As you come down, you can actually make out this line here. This line is the pleural reflection. This represents the visceral pleura of the lung. The parietal pleura of the chest wall or thorax is out here, and we are looking right at this abnormal air collection in the thorax. This is a pneumothorax, a very small one, a very subtle one, but indeed this is a pneumothorax. This is a clinically significant finding that, as a radiologist, I have to make on every single patient. So how about a little clinical context? This patient reported to his primary care doctor with chest pain. He was sent to an outpatient imaging facility, and this chest x-ray was ordered about or performed at approximately 9 a.m. in the morning. A second year radiology resident was able to make this finding. Now, to be honest, it is slightly questionable only because just how subtle this finding is. So we did another study to confirm this finding. I'm going to show you that study right now. So this is a chest x-ray performed in full expiration. You can see it's labeled right here. You can see that the diaphragms are elevated because the patient is pushing all the air out of their lungs. And this is meant to make more conspicuous that finding of the right apical pneumothorax. So again, my technique, I'm zooming in, looking in that region, and now this finding is very obvious. Here you can see the lung markings extending up here. You can see the nice pleural reflection right here. You can see this abnormal lucency, this air collection in the right uh, lung apex region. And this is a small right pneumothorax. If you're a non-radiologist watching, I hope you can kind of get a sense of just how difficult this job can be. Uh, we have to suspect this disease, pneumothorax, above any sort of clinical suspicion. We have to basically suspect this on every single chest x-ray that we come across. And if you're asking whether I've missed this finding before, the answer is yes. Many times I've missed this finding and attending has picked it up. So I have changed my search pattern and modified it so that I can always find this finding or put myself in the best position to make this finding on every single chest x-ray I open up because if I miss this finding, if I miss this pneumothorax, I can cause significant harm to the patient and I don't want to do that. So how about some clinical follow-up? The patient was alerted, the patient's physician was alerted of this finding. The decision was made to clinically monitor the patient over the course of the day. We did follow-up chest radiographs and this pneumothorax actually spontaneously resolved so the patient was discharged with specific instructions on when to return to medical care. So that's my story. That is how I ensure that I can diagnose a pneumothorax every single time on every single patient chest x-ray that I look at. Once again, I'm Strelg RMD. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like below or subscribe if you want to see additional content. Preferably, do both. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Take care.